one-pointed mind. Make your mind one-pointed in meditation and your heart will be purified. The Bhagavad Gita. If you have been training one finger zen, smiling from the heart and dantian breathing over the last six weeks, you had noticed the, an increased energy field at the chi hai dantian, together with stabilizing and calming at the physical, mental and emotional levels. Having an awareness of the developments, even at a subtle level, presents a useful opportunity to notice how things have changed for you and how you can more effortlessly and naturally come back to calmness, stillness and stability. A quote that I like about no action. What should we do with the mind in meditation? Nothing. Just leave it simply as it is. During the six weeks of this course, we've been observing and applying the practice to experience and notice the internal and external outcomes. One of the things that we practiced from class last week was noticing our response to circumstances without the need to try and change them. Instead, allow the systems to come back to stillness as a result of the training without forcing anything. One of the quotes I like around stillness is, just still the thoughts in your mind. It is good to do this right in the midst of disturbance. Several weeks back, um, we used these skills in an exercise around focused listening. And in that practice, we listened to the other person whilst they told us about their problems. At the same time, uh, we were remaining quietly and calmly present. The results were obvious when compared to the common way a lot of people attempt to listen. That often results in disturbances for both parties. So we're now at week seven. And this week, we're going to use the mind, heart and energy centre together to further develop our stabilising presence and being without struggle or stress in systems. The methods and skills we're going to use are being in Wuji, smiling from the heart, lift in the sky and two aspects of yin yang, one finger zen and dantian breathing. We're also going to be using the sinew metamorphosis as a way to boost energy. So you'll notice that each week we're mostly using the same methods and developing the skills. Obviously, we do this on purpose to help you. Um, Just as it's preferable to go under the knife of a skillful surgeon rather than someone who is in med school, it's more desirable to continue improving your skills and getting better at applying them to all circumstances. That's one of the things that I love about the Shaolin arts. It's not what you do, it's the way that you do it. As a side note, but important enough that I want to mention it, I believe that we're very fortunate to have the opportunity to practice the Shaolin arts when so many people do not. I also believe that we are privileged to be able to decode and understand how to apply the ancient wisdom to enrich our daily lives. This was one of the main aims of our beloved teacher, Grandmaster Wonku Kit, that was to enrich the life of others through the teachings of the Shaolin arts. The fact that we're able to transcend the limitations of just form of Qigong and be able to understand and apply the underlying principles and energy ought to be celebrated. Back to the lesson on week seven on what to practice. So having developed the awareness of our needs over the weeks, we can continue to modify the time, methods or depth spent in the training periods. That's the morning and evening. And the tools you have from this course so far are doing nothing, being in Wuji, purposeful energy flow in lifting the sky and two aspects of yin yang, focused mind, one finger zen, applying focused energy, one finger zen, Increase in energy at the Dantian field, Dantian breathing, and an energy boost to the sinew metamorphosis. So these practices, individually or collectively, can lead to stabilising and growth. Growth meaning change and development. The stabilising effect is physically, mentally, emotionally and energetically. The energy and mental clarity boost is experienced during and following the training. So continue to practice according to your needs and skill level and experiencing the effects of calmness, stillness and stability at the various levels. 
Also, use the collective practice we did in class on the focus listening from our centre, our chi hai being grounded, and focus listening from the heart being open, and focus listening from the mind being present. Then come in from and being one stabilising energy field. See how when you come from just one or all these areas can change the physical, mental and emotional and energetic state in the terms of stabilising energy internally and externally. So enjoy your practice and let me know how you're getting on, um, how this is working for you this week and also if there's anything that you are finding challenging and maybe um, there's nothing you're finding challenging and you just want to share your experiences as well so um, thanks very much for turning up for your training again we'll see you next week